Today I'm going to show you the new Govi Outdoor Motion Sensor. Now this changes things for Govi's product line, I think in a few ways. It says Bluetooth there on the side, you can see that 120 degree wide angle monitoring, so it's going to look out kind of 60 degrees in each direction from center. Uh, obviously it's outdoor, so one of the biggest things about this is how it's going to do out there, how it's going to respond, and you know, for Govi who have a number of outdoor lighting products, this could be really, really helpful because typically, you know, they integrate with Google Home and Amazon Voice Assistant. So without having something like this, you have to have that second app, you have to have that second system. So this is a nice little uh, component, I think, for them. So it looks like to me you get a couple of these cards you know this one's kind of explaining how this is going to work uh, they're explaining dream view they always want to explain that that's kind of how you coordinate all of their lighting scenes and then there's a pretty good user manual who needs a user manual right am i right yeah i like that this is a little black outdoor sensor in general like that uh, i appreciate that color being outdoors a little bit more and obviously we've got a little tab and the batteries are inside in a sealed compartment. We've got four little screws there, uh, very small screws, but they're talking about a power supply. Six volt DC, four milliamps. Does that mean it's a rechargeable power supply? I don't know what's going on. We gotta find out here. Got our little screwdriver. We've got some mounting hardware or we've got some stickers and we've got a little plate. Now that plate can go on the bottom. You can see that you're just gonna screw, you're basically you're getting these little legs or feet in there and then you're just gonna turn the, the sensor and obviously it's got its own ball so it can point in any direction with any mounting that you're doing here. So that's pretty good, that's pretty good setup. This feels uh, stiff enough to survive for the most part, it's it's a little less stiff than some of us would like. You know, I think worst case for any sort of stand like this, you can get other ones, uh, you can tape it, or you can just kind of add a little extra to it if you're finding that you're having any trouble with it. I, I don't think it's gonna be any trouble, but I could see it maybe, you know, two years down the line, kind of doing this one. Uh, I'm sad. Oi! Oh! They're CR123As. It took me a bit to get there, but there you go. So that's what's in here. That's a little bit of an odd battery size. Uh, depending on whether it eats batteries, that could be a little bit painful for some people, but you can get rechargeable versions of these and uh, probably just do that to make your life a little bit less expensive over the long haul. I don't think this is gonna eat a lot of batteries, but it is a Bluetooth connection. Uh, if you know it's not close enough to the, the product or the device, yeah, it could be a little bit expensive battery-wise. Outdoor motion sensor. Press the, oh. Oh, there's a button on the front. Press it for three seconds. There, now it's it's uh, flashing in there. Okay, now we can find it. This is all working good now. Outdoor motion sensor, initializing. This sensor only works at night after dusk by default to save power. So there you go. Okay, they're pretty clear with what's gonna work and what's not. Uh, if you need the products to work during the day, please turn off the light sensor. This will reduce battery life. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Movements detected. It sees me. Hi. More node devices. So uh, I've got a few Govi products in my home, but this needs to be supported by other products for uh, connection and for other reasons. Now, it's saying, okay, you've got all these other Node products. I think I'm good. Uh, and I can manage them and basically, you know, if you don't have other Govi products, this isn't gonna help you. 
So, you know, you want those to be there anyways. I do have some basic settings for this. So you can see near far types of settings, whether or not you want that light sensor, which will help to have this only turning on your lights in the evening. Uh, and detection intervals, 60 seconds up to uh, 180 seconds. So one to three minutes is going to give you how long uh, this goes before it can detect motion again. Now, I can interconnect a number of other devices and do what's called an auto run. So right there, you're just picking what you want to interconnect. Now, because this is outdoor, I'm going to connect it to uh, some of the outdoor products that I get. I can turn on my products, I can pick all the different modes, so I can pick any of the different scenes, even the DIY stuff, it looks like I can even turn on like a sleeping mode, so that's kind of neat. Uh, we'll put people to sleep outdoors, that's nice, they can sleep on our porch. So I'm gonna turn it on to the rainbow mode, I'm gonna set the brightness, for this light, this is a triad light. It's bright, so I'm gonna turn it down. <laughs> triad floodlight. Um, and if I want, you can see I can add multiple units, okay, or multiple products, and then I can also delay some of those executions. So if I want them to start, you know, 30 seconds later, 10 seconds later, after this has seen anything, okay, then I can do that. Now, I can set the validity settings as in the schedule. If I only want this to happen beyond 5 p.m., I can do that already. But obviously with the light sensor on here, it's kind of gonna do that anyways. It's only gonna turn on your lights when someone's coming up to your home in the dark. And we'll add some other as we go. I don't wanna take all your, your day here doing, doing things, but there you go. I can turn on that automation. It looks like I can turn on multiple automation so I could run other lights in different ways pretty flexible here. So if you're looking for an outdoor sensor to work with Govee's products, this is great. But I don't think it's going outside of this system. I haven't received any notifications from Amazon or Google. There's no labels on the box. So this is really contained to Govee's system. Uh, and in that way, it's gonna be a really good product for you guys. So there you go, this is an easy way to get your outdoor lighting with Govee working exactly how you want at the times you want. All right, automators, thanks for watching. Today, you wanna check out other unboxings, other reviews of Govee products, they're right there. Check it out. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, live smart.